So Dylan White has had his say on the KSI Logan Paul match, which is going to be on Sky Sports. Now, I done a video a little bit earlier, and it was only really audio I recorded for that. And basically I was saying that this was pay-per-view Sky Box Office. Now, I've seen reports that are kind of contradicting that. While KSI vs Logan Paul looks set to be pay-per-view Sky Box Office, the undercard may yet be regular Sky. So essentially, you're only going to be paying for KSI Logan Paul. And I've seen kind of prices in the range of maybe say £10. So not necessarily the dearest. And you'd really only be paying for Logan Paul versus KSI. You would get Billy Joe, Devin Haney, Standard Sky. So myself, I was saying in that video that I'd be definitely streaming it through VipBox. But if it was a case of seeing Billy Joe, Devin Haney on the undercard, and maybe one or two fights might get announced, then you could watch it on Standard Sky and you don't need to pay for the main event. Which is, to be fair, it's a decent compromise, to be fair. So if you don't want to watch Logan Paul KSI, don't pay for it. Simple as. Now, Dylan White has come out and jumped to the defence of this fight. And has actually come down on the hardcore fans a bit. So I'm going to quote Dylan White. This is an interview he gave to IFL. Dylan White basically on the Logan Paul versus KSI. He says, the hardcore fans knock everything. Hardcore boxing fans are the most ungrateful people on the face of this planet. Oh, this fight's no good. That fight's no good. They don't appreciate anything. I don't know why I even show that because you can't even see. I've looked back at something. You can't even see it when I show you that. Anyway, that's what Dylan White has to say. So he is going around saying that the hardcore fans don't appreciate things. Is that true? Do we not appreciate certain things, certain fights? Now, I've said this before and I'll say it again. The whole Floyd May Mayweather, Conor McGregor thing, I thought it was silly. You know, it was a farce. Make no mistake about it. That's exactly what it was. Have no one tell you otherwise. I've had people come on my sh like channel say, oh, you know, it was a competitive fight. No, it wasn't. Don't be talking that bullshit. No, it wasn't. It was bullshit. This fight, it's aimed at the casuals. And, of course, the hardcore fans are objecting to it. But do we complain a bit too much? Because, let's face facts, people who watch my videos, people who watch Ade's videos, people who would watch, say, Hatman's videos... Who else? You know, sporting icons. People like that, they're going to be the hardcore fans. People who watch IFL, you know, boxing social, hardcore fans. You know, you're not going to get many casual fans tuning in to watch someone talk about boxing. They're going to tune in to the Canelos. They're going to tune into the AJs. They're going to see these big names in the world, such as Logan Paul, KSI, you know, Conor McGregor, Khabib, guys like that. They're going to tune in for them. They're not going to tune in to watch, you know, Billy Joe, essentially. Do we hardcore fans complain too much and do we not look at things from a casual's point of view? I don't know. I mean, in one sense, yeah, I do think that there is an element, and I've been guilty of it myself, where we do complain a bit too much. Some of the complaints, I think, are justified. Like me as a hardcore fan, I was very critical. I wasn't making views at the time, but I was critical of two things about one card Eddie Hearn put on, which was the AJ versus Molina card. Because if you look at AJ versus Molina, even to a casual fan, they wouldn't know where Molina was. So it's not a competitive fight. Even though it's Anthony Joshua who's in the main event, it's still not necessarily a competitive fight. They put that on pay-per-view and it was a mismatch. So I was very critical of that. And there was nothing about that card or about that fight that made me judge it any other way. The only good saving grace of that card, which was nearly three years ago now, was Chisora versus White. Okay? I was critical of that. I think a lot of other hardcore fans were. And I think that we were justified to be critical of that. Because it was a mis it was a, It was built as this heavyweight title fight. But we all knew it was a mismatch. It was a complete mismatch. We look at Mayweather McGregor. It was very... WWE. In a sense that it was just pantomime kind of thing. It was a real... It was like Jeremy Kyle. If you ever watched an episode of Jeremy Kyle. Just two people arguing. And people just lapping it up. That's kind of what that was. Do I think that I complained a lot about that fight? I wasn't overly keen on it. Do I think, looking back on it now, I was right to do that? Yeah, I do. Do I think that there's ever anything that's done just to aim at casuals that I think that us hardcore fans complain about too much? <sighs> Look, right, this KSI Logan Paul fight, right? While I was very critical, of, well, not critical, but while I was criticising it being on pay-per-view, if you're only putting the main event on pay-per-view which is what it looks like might be 
then yeah, you know, I mean, let them. I mean, as I said, it's only going to be the casual to buy the pay per view. The hardcore will tune in to watch the undercard, and they'll probably switch off after the pay per view after the when it becomes pay per view. So should we criticize that? <sighs> I don't know. I mean, at the end of the day, I can see where Dylan White's coming from in a sense that this is a bit of fun. You know, we're not supposed to take it serious because these guys are not going to be going and saying that, you know, they're going to call out this guy, they're going to call out that guy, they're going to be doing this, they're They're not going to be doing any of that. They're having a bit of fun. And at the end of the day, you're going to attract fans to the sport, which is always a good thing. In some extent, in some extent it is. But you're always going to attract new fans. It's, you always want new fans to take an interest in the sport because it helps the fighters get paid and it helps the sport to grow. Sport's in a good place in the UK. Sport's in a shit place in Ireland. And the sport's not in much of a better place in the States. This is going to do good for American box because it's going to tune in a lot of American fans who are interested in KSI, Logan Paul. Might get them intrigued in boxing. The Conor McGregor, Floyd Mayweather thing, which I'm going to touch on, did it get fans interested in boxing? To be fair... And I, to be fair, it did. I knew a lot of people who were not really boxing fans, they were MMA fans, who then became boxing fans as a result of that fight. They started looking at guys who only us hardcores would know about. They started looking at videos of people like Gerald McClellan, Nigel Benn, etc., etc. So in a sense, I'll give the devil its due. It did do good in a sense. It got new people involved in boxing. We had to listen to the whole BS of McGregor this, McGregor that. But in hindsight, it did get people involved in the sport of boxing. So maybe... Maybe Dylan White's right. Maybe we are being a bit too critical of this. Do I think it should be pay-per-view? No. Not at all. I don't think even the main event should be pay-per-view. But at the end of the day, as I said, it's not going to be us hardcore fans who are going to pay for it. It's going to be the casuals. At the end of the day, let them. If they want to pay for it, fuck it, let them. We're not going to be paying for it. We're, most of us probably aren't going to watch it. Realistically. I'd love to know who is going to watch the KSI Logan Paul fight. I sure as shit ain't. I'd love to know who else will. Let me know what you think. Do us hardcore fans complain a bit too much? I want to say no. I want to say that when we complain, it is justified. But to some extent, you have to look at things retrospectively. You look at things in hindsight. And you say, actually, do you know what? That show might have been shit. But it got new fans involved in the sport. And that's what we want. We want to get new fans involved in the sport. We want boxing to grow. We don't want boxing to be for just us hardcore fans. Because at the end of the day, where's that going to lead to? Well, that's the question. Let me know what you think down below. Will you be paying for this fight? Will you be paying for just the main event? Let me know. If it is a case of just the main event being paid for, that's what I should say. If the main event is just to be pay-per-view on KSI Logan Paul, will you pay for it? Let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for new, and as always, I will talk to you after.